Okay, this time we're going to look at creating, creating arrays using query selector all. And this is used to create an array of HTML elements. Uh, we can use this query selector all to get all of the elements that match a certain query. Um, and we're going to use CSS selectors for this. Um, yeah, let's, let's dive in and take a look. So in our, oh, I don't need this anymore. Sorry, we'll do this, uh, create arrays, query selector all. All right, so in my HTML, I added some H2s and paragraphs so that you can see we've got some subheadings and some little lorem paragraphs, just so that we have some, some HTML content. And the way this works is really easy. Let's just go let um, key elements, so paragraph elements, and we go document dot query selector all and then in here we do our CSS selector inside of a string so I'm just gonna go P right so this is my my element selector I'm gonna select all paragraph elements so we save that and now if I go here let's just see if what P elements is and it's a node list with these P elements inside of it, right? So you see that's the first paragraph, the second paragraph, the third paragraph, All right? So if you wanted the first one, you could go P elements at zero and it gives you that first paragraph. P elements at position one and it gives you the second paragraph. Now, technically this is not an array. It's a node list. It behaves basically like an array, but it has a little bit of limited functionality. There's some things you can do with arrays that you can't do with node lists. But for the basics that we've done so far, it's, you can treat it basically just like an array. Okay. Um, and then, of course, we can do, uh, instead of P elements, we would go um, select H2. Right? H2 elements. And now my H2 elements is a node list with all of those H2 elements. Yay. Um, let's go to our HTML, and I'm going to add a class to some of these things. So class test. Let's add a class of just test onto this one as well. Maybe we'll add one to the H2 here. Okay. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'll go my, my test elements, and in here we can go dot test. This is what we would do in the CSS, right? We'd create a, a CSS selector where the dot means select all elements with the class of the name with the name test. And we'll save that. And the test elements would give me all of those elements that have the class of test. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, now you may have noticed, um, so this query selector all gives me all the elements. There's also um, query selector and that just gives you the first element that matches this test right so if I did this and I looked at my test elements it's not really elements anymore because query selector it doesn't return an array it just returns the first element it finds that matches this CSS selector okay and so if I did query selector and put a P in here it would just give me the first paragraph right and that first paragraph happened to have the class test on it as well anyway so query selector in, in some ways uh, remember document get element by ID technically you could give something an ID um, hi and then here if you did query selector hashtag right that's the ID selector in CSS well, I don't know if I ever taught that anyway this is the dot is for classes and this is for selecting IDs um, so this would be the high ID element. High ID element is that H2 that had the ID of high. And that's the same thing that you would get if you did document.get element. Hello, take it element by ID high. Right? So they're kind of similar. I think it's recommended to, if you're getting just an ID, it is recommended to use the get element by ID. For, I'm not sure for performance reasons or clarity, but anyway, query selector does the same thing. But the point of this lesson was query selector all, and that allowed you to get to that node list, right? That array slash node list of HTML elements, which can come in handy. Okay, 
Hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you next video.